Hi, it's Chris here, and here to bring you another video of Alice Fiction. Now, this video is just kind of a second update of the underground mode. And just a few more things to kind of add. That now that I can actually do hard mode, which I would strongly recommend, that is the quickest thing you should be able to try and do to be able to do hard mode. And I'm going to explain, explain one of the reasons why. Um, hard mode gets you... I'll just start it here. Hard mode gets you up to 530. Kind of 530 of these of these materials, what are they called underground medals. And the fact that you can get 530 every day means that your exchange now, if you come here, you can now then get one of these sets five anima every anima every day. So every day you'll be able to get five anima plus get 30 of a spare. So over time, actually, you'll be able to get 500 extra. And I think that just really enables you to kind of really kind of do this every day, get five at a consistent pace. And that will kind of really help with kind of trying to five star some of these characters here. And you never know. I think I feel like over time they will update it. It will update more free stars and i think for instance for instance the new free star heracles they're gonna probably put one of them probably put heracles into either underground battle arena or team so they will definitely update these kind of lists here which will be great now i want to add in some extra kind of tips that i kind of talked about but i think one of the most important things for you to be able to do underground um and like i kind of explained again in my our last video is the amount of characters that you have the more characters that you have built up and as you can see i've got a good power level like all of these characters here are grade five up until wang here and nightingale but i've got about 13 characters here who are all grade five and grade five or above and we're all level 38 39 40 now and having this many characters allows me two very important things. It allows you to have, well, the more characters you have, the more you can kind of get through the level, especially be defeating the boss, because the boss is quite powerful. And it most likely actually will kill your team. But also, this doing this allows you to look at the, having lots of different characters allows you to have lots of flexibility when you fight a battle. So, for instance, this first battle here, although it's quite easy, you can do this without even necessarily using a healer by by introducing, you know, getting your wood characters to come and fight in this battle because they're all earth, they're all earth types except for this one type. So, if you put in your earth, your wood characters, then you'll be able to like do more damage. And the next battle is is kind of like a water battle, I think. And the next one after that was kind of like a mixture of light and dark characters, and so. By putting the elements as well, you can really kind of do a lot of damage, but also, you know, resist the attacks from from what they're doing. Also, another thing that you can do, which you might, which I'm just going to show you quickly here, with any old battle, is that if you see the battle kind of going quite badly, you can just literally exit. So let me show you here. You can exit mid battle by coming to auto and just going to attack mode. And I did one attack, you know, just a couple of these. And then did a bit of attacks. And they damaged me and they do all this kind of thing. And you do that, and then you can kind of go. Withdraw, and it will say if you withdraw your characters and enemies, return to their state before the battle. So if you see the battle kind of going really badly, which is also sometimes a good test for you to see what might work, what might not work for you. And those are kind of the main things that I kind of want to just explain about this underground mode for the last time there. What I'm going to do is in the description, I'm going to upload a video which will show you all five of my battles at once with no commentary so you can kind of see how i did it and how i changed some battles and changed some characters because in some of the battles like i will change my team just to kind of quickly accommodate that battle there 
and I'll save because the last boss, the final boss is a earth type. I try to save as many of my wood characters as possible. So that's why I've built up quite a few of my wood team, my wood characters here. Because that boss is very difficult to deal with. So you probably see me lose to that one and then I'll up and then I'll kind of use my wood team to kind of finish it off. And yeah, that'll be the main thing really. Um please do leave a like or subscribe or leave a comment if you like the video and I'll see you again for the next Alice Fiction video. Bye for now.